Hey gang, hey gang, hey gang, hey gang, hey friends, thank you for joining me, I love that you're here, I really do. Um, we're going to be fuck messing about with some cling film, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it today. I'm using the Gel Perfection Builder in a bottle uh, and I'm adding some colour to it, this is Flamingo Beach I want to say. Who knows? It is, I'm pretty sure. I'll list everything in the description. Not going to lie, I'm a bottle of fizz in. I say a bottle of fizz, literally an entire bottle of fizz is inside me right now. Um, it just seems to work out that that's how... What's that noise? It's the wind. It's okay. Um, that's how my week pans out, that I end up doing voiceovers um, <laughs> on a Saturday night when I've had a lot to drink. So I've mixed the gel polish color with the builder gel and i've painted the nail with that i'm going to put some cling film over it or whatever you would like to call it um, and i'm going to um just poke it about just give it a poke with a cuticle stick or your finger or a cuticle pusher or or whatever takes your fancy how do you what do you what do you use for this who knows that didn't work did it no oh is this not the edited video I thought I sorted this out. Obviously not. Um, so I didn't think that was thick enough. Did I? I don't know. I can't remember. It was a few days ago. This is a very informative video. Um, so I'm going... I put some more on and then I'm going to... More on. <laughs> um, I put some more space on. Um, and then just scrunched up the cling film in the wet gel and gel polish mix and cured it um, gave it a full cure and then peeled off the cling film and then what do I do now I edited this the other day what did I oh pick it off with your fingers you know no airs and graces use your fingers uh, I'm now taking this is a rose gold pigment I don't know why I didn't use my one from diamond glitters I just found this one where's it from I don't know. It says number 12 on the bottom. So, oh my goodness me. Turn my phone on mute. Who's messaging me? It's half past nine in the evening. Right. Volume off. Mm. Off. Vibrate. Off. Um, I don't know where this pigment is from. It says number 12 on it. If that helps you? I know it doesn't. Then, yeah. Um, but you, they do... Uh, Diamond Glitters do have a rose gold pigment, which I think I use at some point in this video. Um, I need to sniff. Oh, having an allergy day. So I pop that pigment on the tacky layer um, from the mix of Builder Gel and Gel Polish. And I'm now mixing Poison. Oh, I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> I should really look at what's happening, shouldn't I? Anyway, Poison Berry, Poison, Poison Plum, Poison something. I'll list it in the description. Um, so that's had the pigment on it i've probably dusted it off and now i'm going to fill in all the um crevices that's a horrible word um with that mix of gel polish and builder gel this builder gel from gel perfection is a soft builder gel so it's a soak off which obviously most gel polishes are so it's fine to mix them together. I don't know how it would work with hard gel. Hard being non-soak off, so it's file off only. Um, if you have a hard builder gel, then I don't... Uh, yeah, you could probably maybe mix pigments instead, which I do at some point in this video. Um, so I filled in the cracks or the crevices, the holes, the, the, the dips in this nail with that mix and then I cured it and now I'm um, encapsulating with the clear builder gel from Diamond, 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 Diamond Glitters. Um, so that's that. This was my first attempt. I, I saw, I'm now going to file the shit out of it until it's smooth um, and then we're going to top coat with Diamond Gloss. Um, I saw like cling film, using cling film um for this sort of thing when i first started and i was watching like you know seventy five thousand videos a day of nail stuff um so it's not a new thing but it seems to have come back into fashion i'm sure it will just be another one of those trends that just 
comes in and goes as quickly as it arrived. Um, so I thought I'd do a video on it anyway. Got to get up with the trends, you know? Um, so I, fi I filed and buffed that and then topped it. It's not, that was my first attempt. Um, as I say, I did this years ago, I think. Yeah, when I first started, which was, you know, what well, wasn't that long ago. It was about six and a bit years ago. Um, but it seems to be trendy at the moment. So here it is. Uh, I'm now mixing Blackout, which is the which uh, sh -sh -sh -sh, which is the Gel Perfection Black, um, and their Builder Gel, um, and I'm painting that on the nail. If you're doing this as an extension, you want to do as a nail, you want this to be sort of the whole extension. So this is going to be encapsulated. So this is when you want to start from scratch with a nail, not for like an infill. Um, so make sure you put either a slip layer, which is a thin layer of builder gel and then cured, or a base coat. I use the Gel Perfection base coat because it has a primer in it, so it's really good to use before their builder gel. So I mixed their blackout gel polish with their builder gel, painted the nail, popped the cling film on, poked it about a bit, stabbed at it as if it was a, you know an ex-boyfriend who did me wrong. We've all got them. Um, and cured it, peeled off the cling film, and now I'm using this gold um, chrome. It's not from, I'm, I'm sure Gel, uh, Diamond Glitters has one. I don't know where this came from. This is from my, you know, drawer of who knows where it came from. I don't. I must have ordered it at some point since I started doing nails, but goodness knows where it's from. So I popped that on there, and then I thought, let's chuck some other stuff at this. You know, someone commented the other day saying, why the talking non-stop over the whole video? Because I fucking want to. Okay, I'm talking over the whole video. I can't stop talking. Like I say, it works out that every time I do a voiceover, it just so happens it's a Saturday night and I've had loads to drink. What are you going to do? If you don't like the talking over it, press mute. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Where was I? Oh, crikey. So I added some base coat on top of that, on top of the pigment, and then I popped some glitter on it, and now I was like, oh, let's throw some more stuff at the situation. What else can we get in there? So I've mixed some purple... Oh, you saw. I wasn't looking. Hopefully you were. I will, as I say, put it in the description. Um, I've mixed some chrome pigment with some base coat, and this was kind of a bad idea, though, because... Oh, I'm so nasally today. I'm having an allergy day. Because it kind of made things a bit um, misty, which was not what I was going for. But, you know, I was just trying things out. That's the joy of, you know, being an nail tech. You just try stuff out. You throw stuff at a situation and see what happens. Um, so I popped that on there and then cured that. And now I'm encapsulating with the clear builder gel um, and then that will go in the lamp. I'm going to wipe it and buff it and then top it with diamond gloss, of course, of course. Uh, holding the nail upside down just to work on that apex from upside down. So that's how to cure and now it's buffed. And we're topping, as you can see, that kind of adding the that particular pigment with base coat kind of misted everything, which wasn't what I was going for, but I thought I'd show you anyway because, you know... This is what we do. We play around with stuff. If you're into sort of nails and... Do you remember that? Bross. Was that a one-hit wonder? I think it was. Um, you just kind of play around and see what happens. That's what happened with that one. But obviously you can chuck anything you want at the situation. Um, throw things on. I'm now taking some pigments some of the neon pigments from diamond glitters um and i mixed it with the builder gel and i'm going to paint that on there and then before i cure it i'm going to put the cling film on and then i'm going to pokey pokey stabby stabby prod 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 um and that will sort of give you this pokey up bits do you know what i can if i was to write this down in a letter to you it would make a lot more sense i'm much more articulate in a letter than i am speaking but you know like i say it's not uh, i'm not sober <laughs> uh 
Oh, cracky. So that was cured. And now I've mixed some purple pigment with some builder gel. And I'm doing that. So it's kind of like a jelly gel. Oh, I need to sniff. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear that? I'm really sorry if you did. Someone mowed the lawn yesterday and it was just, it's just thrown me for a loop. My nose is like, what's going on? There's pollen everywhere. Um, so I filled in all the crevices um, with that mix of purple pigment and builder gel. Cured that and now I'm encapsulating. This is when you want to build your apex, you want to build some structure um, and then that will have a cure hold it upside down with gel I always hold people's nails upside down and then work on it from upside down um, you just get a better apex and whatever um, so that was cured whatever so informative um, and now we have filed and buffed and we've topped I was going for a certain look I didn't achieve it but like I say I'm just playing around with this whole cling film thing because it's trendy and you've got to give the people what they want um so that was that one next what's next we are mixing some gold chrome pigment with builder gel and i'm painting that on the nail um again if if you're doing this on a human bean a human bean being um then do a slip layer or do something before you do this um so this isn't the first thing on their nail um popping the cling film cling, 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 la, 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 cling film on and then scrunching it all up and curing that and what are we doing now i've got some pink neon pigment oh and some purple what are you doing okay so i'm mixing both of that clearly couldn't pick a color so went with both with the builder gel and i'm going to peel the cling film off and then um oh dear if you've watched my channel if you've seen some of my videos you'll see that i ramble nonsensical madness and then my brain just stops working because it's like we've talked too much this is too much going on let's just stop um so i'm now filling that in with that mix and then I, I was trying to go for a certain look and it wasn't happening so here I'm actually wiping some off um so that the gold is sticking out um oh couldn't stop there wanted to just put some more stuff on there so I put some base coat on after curing that and I'm adding some clear hollow clear hollow is amazing it literally turns your whole gel polish builder gel whatever collection you've just doubled it because you can add this to anything um it's clear hence the name um and it just makes everything sparkly so i popped some of that on there cured it and now i'm encapsulating i still haven't got the look i was going for what was i going for i didn't know which you know if you're gonna sit down and have a play it's probably best to have an idea of what you want because you're more likely to achieve it that way. But I didn't. I was just sat down and started fucking about with things. Um, so cured that. Buffed it. I need to sniff again. Oh. And topped it with diamond glass. One thing I will say. What's happening next? Um, I want to say this before I get to the next bit. So if you're using. that, That's that one that we're seeing there. It's kind of. You know, I get it. Like, I get the whole, oh, that's a trend and it gives this crinkly effect. But, you know, I'm not, you know, it's not something that I would wear. It's just, a, it's one of those things. It's a nothing. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I like to know what I'm doing. It's got to look like what I want it to look like. When it's kind of like this, then I'm like, what is this? I don't know. If it doesn't have a name, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I want to know what it is and it has to look like what it's meant to look like. What was that? That was the gold pigment again mixed with some builder gel. Uh, put the cling film on, scrunched it up, cured it. I've now mixed blackout, which is a gel polish with the builder gel. And I'm filling in again the cracks. Uh, not the cracks, the, you know, the, the low points, the crevices. I really don't like that word. Didn't know I didn't like it until right now. Um, and then curing that and then I'm going to encapsulate 
file buff and top I'm ahead of myself now so I can say what I was gonna say oh whoever said that they didn't like the fact that I just keep talking the whole time you're not going to enjoy this video but whatever you know you can't please everybody um, with mixing gel polish with builder gel you obviously you have hard gels and soft gels and you have like builder gel some people think builder gel is always hard or hard gel is builder gel. That's hard and soft refers to, I quite like this one. Do you like it? What do you think? Let me know down below. Hard and soft refers to whether they soak off or file off. A soft gel will soak off a hard gel. There it is against black. I thought it might make a difference. Um, soft gel is soak off, hard gel is file off. So you don't really want to mix soft and hard gels unless you're building, like if you're building an extension with a hard gel you can file and refine your shape and everything and buff and then put soft gel polish on top that's fine you're good to go but mixing them is a bit of a in my year now you might face issues um so luckily all the gel perfection range is soak off everything every everything um so we can mix these that's no biggie if that doesn't make sense please comment below i'll happily um try and explain my ramblings because i probably won't look at the comments until tomorrow and you know i'll be sober then so i've taken uh what color was this you saw you saw what color it was that was gel polish i painted it then i cured it and then i put the build gel on and scrunched it up with a cling film then cured it and now i'm adding pink unicorn pigment i'm going to pass out i haven't breathed in like what how long i don't know 17 minutes um so i'm now burnishing on this pink unicorn pigment um and then this one didn't go too well um because it turns out that colors that are similar to each other obviously you kind of lose the effect because everything looks the same color um but i thought i'd leave it in there anyway um, just to show you because someone might like this um, so I cured that um, and then filed and buffed and I'm topping that but do you see what I mean like you can't there's no def there's not a great deal of definition in this you have to really look close up to see what's going on to see the effect um, but you know trial and error oh my goodness dismiss um i'm now taking genie oh how amazing is this color is it blue is it purple it's purple it's amazing this color is so good i love it um so i'm doing that with gel polish again on a person do a base coat or a slip layer um with your builder gel obviously using gel polish inside it you want it to be a soft builder gel aka a soak off builder gel i with hard gel maybe use a pigment instead um and then i cured the genie the gel polish and then put some builder gel on scrunched it up with the cling film and i'm now taking chrome so obviously that's been cured oh my god i'm talking so much even i can't bear it um and I'm taking this rose chrome pigment from Diamond Glitters and I'm rubbing it over it. I did try a blue chrome pigment at first, but once I went in with this, which is the Builder Gel, um, and encapsulated, it kind of all went to the same colour. So it was like, what's the fucking point? You can't see anything because um, it was all the same colour. So this was take two. Um, and encapsulating that, that will be cured and buffed and uh uh where are we who are we who am i topped with diamond gloss and that's that it's okay there's one of these one out of all of these that i'm like that looks really fucking cool the rest i'm like Meh. but i'm like that with all fad when i say fads all trends you know unless they're like amazing it takes a lot to blow me away <laughs> um so yeah um this is illuminate which is a gel polish and while that's curing i'm mixing builder gel the uh, gel perfection builder gel with summer vibes 
Do you know, I think whenever I say vibes, I think of um, Tom Haverford. Let me know down below if you know what I'm referencing. Um, if you do, then we can be best friends. Um, so the Illuminate was cured. How amazing is that gel polish color, by the way? Insane. And put some builder gel on top. Pokey, pokey, poke. You know, oh, oh, I will say, poke in from the sides. Obviously, on a person, they've got their sidewalls there, but it's going to stop you from having too many, like, pokey out bits that you're going to have to file because it's a pain in the ass. There's a, there's a fair bit of filing with this kind of design. So if you scrunch it in from, go from the outside in, from the side walls in, then you're going to like get rid of some of that potential sticky out bits on the side. I'm going to save you a bit of filing. I've mixed summer vibes with the builder gel and I'm covering all of that. This wasn't the best. It didn't have that 3D effect because I was, I don't know, I was just trying different things. I have filed this. I'm now topping with diamond gloss. So I cured that, filed and buffed. I filed that so much. Like only do this version of whatever it is I'm doing in this video if you use an e-file. I don't use e-files. I'm, I don't know. I, I, it would be too much dust for me. I have asthma and I just, and I've got, I've had surgery on my hands. I can't be fucking about with e-files. I'll, I'll just, you know, my hands will fall off. I would suggest only doing that. That's going to, where you're going to file where I'd, oh, I'm so behind. Where I built up that green and I had to file a lot down to get through to the yellow. So I would only do that if you use e-files because otherwise, oh, what a palaver. But I did it. Um, and naturally, as some allergy idiot, my fingers got all like, you know, the, my finger skin started peeling. Where am I? Forget that. So I've done black. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I haven't shut up. Um, I've done black gel polish. I cured it. Did I? Yes. And then I put clear builder on, scrunched it up with the cling film, cured it. And now I'm taking rose chrome, rose chrome. Yes. From diamond glitters, covered the shit out of it. I mean, there's far too much there. Um, I wanted every area to be covered, uh, dusted it off. Make sure you dust off as much as possible so you don't contaminate your uh, builder gel on the next layer. Um, and then... I am now encapsulating, and this has got a kind of crushed velvet kind of vibe. I'm not a fan of crushed velvet. I'm not, you know, no offense if you're into crushed velvet. I'm just not. But on a nail, I like it. I like it. Um, so I'm encapsulating that. Um, I do like the whole look of having a different crinkle color to the um, crevice. Fuck that fucking word crevice color but this is probably my favorite one maybe because i just love plummy stuff but in real life you can see it's really 3d it's got loads of dimension to it um so there's a whole different way different there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this sort of thing have a play have a mess around you've got to be in the mood because there's a lot of filing involved um but hopefully this is of some use to somebody. If not, maybe you've just enjoyed me non-stop fucking talking. I'm going to pass out in a minute because I haven't shut up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it. I hope you're okay. Let me know how you are below. I really, I really want to know. Thank you so much for joining me, hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.